Hey guys, welcome to New Zealand North Island Part 3. Now we're heading off to the East Coast. East Coast is a more remote part of New Zealand. Not many tourists go there, but you know, Nadine, your dearest Nadine, did go there. After Makatu, we headed into Rotorua, which Rotorua is a very interesting place. Because Rotorua has a bunch of geothermal activity, so basically the whole place smells like sulfur, which is really smells like eggs. So it smells like rotten eggs in the whole town, but you kind of get used to it after a while, so it's not that big of a deal. So in Rotorua, I had an opportunity to go whitewater rafting, which was amazing. We went down the Kaikura, I think it was Kaikura River, and it was really warm. It was like 20 the water, 20 degrees Celsius, which is ridiculously warm. Again, no video because I don't have a waterproof camera and it really was impossible to take a video because if I brought it on the boat, I'd probably lose my camera. So I hope you understand. Sorry, I got a chance to go kayaking. Free kayaking? I love three things. So free kayaking could not pass up that opportunity. Um, We got up early and we got to see the first sunrise of the day, which was amazing. It was freakishly cold though, but we are the first people in the world to see the sunrise on that day because Gisborne is the first inhabited place in the world that you'll see the first sunset rise. Sunset, no, I'm talking about sunrise. Dude, it's way too bright. <laughs> On my East Coast trip, I had an opportunity to go stingray feeding. Stingray feeding! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's cool. Okay. Now, I didn't film this on my camera, I filmed this on my friend Gina's camera that I was traveling around with because she had like a waterproof camera so I was a little bit scared to take my camera out to the water because I'm pretty sure clumsy me would drop it and then I would get no more videos for you guys so here it is it's not the best sound but forgive me yeah and there's a short tail here and the eagle right behind me guys oh. yeah. pretty special huh it is Big, a lot of power and muscle right here. Um, like if you just push back about one more meter, guys, just step one back, step one, step back. Go. We got a chance to pet the stingrays, and they're really, really gross feeding. Like, uh, it's like it's like petting slimy velvet. Are you video? Yeah. Oh. scary feeding because how you feed them is you basically put like a slab of fish on your hand and then you stick it in the water where the stingray is. The stingray is going to come up onto your slab of fish and like suction cup it out of your hand. And it's like and that's how they feed the stingray. What kind of fishes is it? You feed them oh, also, to, to the lake head? Right down sweetie, right down, right down. Um, mainly we love to use Alright guys, 
guys, so that's it for this last installment of New Zealand, North Island. This is the end, and I will be heading off to, get ready for this, Singapore next. So my next video you'll see from me is from Singapore. You definitely have to stay tuned. Check that out. Three days time. Three days time, guys. And in case you missed any of my other New Zealand vlogs, the links will be at the end of this video. You can go check out those videos. And if you want more in-depth detail of my New Zealand trip, North Island, and this isn't even all of the North Island. I've only done a small, small part of the North Island. Check out my blog, mapleandkiwis.com. I will leave all the links in the bottom bar there for you so you can read more in-depth blog posts and see way more photos and just get a better idea. And if you have any questions, leave them on my blog because that's the best way for me to answer your questions. I mean, I'll answer in, in the videos as well, but blog posts will have way more information. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed New Zealand and I will catch you guys later. It's Singapore, three days. All right, bye. <laughs>